Derek Dozot is in his 30th year of farming in the Bruyette community near Marksville, and he says the low levels of rainfall has been unprecedented in the area. Uh, I've never seen it personally this dry. It is impacting pretty much every aspect of agriculture from row crops, cattle, crawfish, everything is, you know, impacted. Uh, Dozot primarily plants soybeans and corn and says his corn crop was not as affected by the drought as the soybeans. The corn crop this past year we were kind of spared because we had a few early rains in the spring, but from about May on the rain just really turned off and the soybean crop was pretty much downhill. Uh, yields were way off, with maybe a third of the yield. Even after the summer heat was over, Dozot says they still have not received enough rain to be ready for planting. You know, here we are in the first week of January. We are approximately two months away from putting in the next corn crop, and we just do, do not have the soil moisture, you know, right now to plant. So it's a big impact for, for 23 and a lot of concern going into 24. Justin Dufour with the LSU Ag Center says they've conducted a damage assessment across all agricultural commodities and determined that the drought has had an economic impact resulting in a $1.6 billion loss for the state. And the problems were not all caused by low rainfall. A lot of issues came with the excessive heat as well and how that you know takes a toll on, on the plant itself. So uh, we do have means of irrigation. Um, I would say less than 10 percent of our acres uh, in this general region is irrigated, but um, that wasn't necessarily a saving grace for people because it costs money to irrigate. Dozot says farmers do the best they can to be successful, but that there is only so much that they can control. That's our livelihood and uh, like I said, we're at Mother Nature's mercy. There's so much we can do. We can put the best genetic seed out there with chemicals and herbicides to protect everything and you know use the best fertility plan but at the end of the day it's all about what mother nature gives us to work with. Joel Massey, ABC 31 News that works for you.